Wave TV. I'm George Cook, and today, once again, we've managed to corral celebrity guest Charles St. Pierre. Jazzy, today you're going to tell us about critical elements of presentation, which any piece of water, any day, any season, this stuff matters. And today, working with a sketch at Max Short, sink tip. Lay it on us. Take it away. You got it. Thank you. The idea with the, the three things that I think about when I'm presenting my uh, fly on, on the swing, the three things I think about is the depth that I'm trying to fish, the speed of the fly, as well as the direction. Okay? So we've got depth, speed, and direction as the three critical factors, things that you want to think about when you're uh, fishing, when you're doing your swing. The idea is, if I want to bring the fly across more broadside, that means perpendicular to the current and the flow of the river, I'm going to probably want to cast more 90, possibly greater, um, to set that fly up so that it maintains that broadside sweep. Very effective presentation in clear water, um, low clear water. The other thing you want to think about with regard to that speed element or that direction is if I cast more 90 or greater, then the fly is going to be coming across faster. Okay? The more I set it up to sweep broadside, the faster it's going to sweep through the current. Consequently, if we get into a situation where we've got high water, dirty water, two feet visibility or less, I want my fly to come across slower. So I'm going to consequently narrow my angle to like 60 to 70 degrees. That's going to bring the fly across slower. Okay. The other thing with regard to depth, we can be successful fishing for steelhead anywhere up onto the surface all the way down to the lower half of the water column. We don't want to be dragging along the bottom because if we're dragging along the bottom, then our fly is not moving. It's hanging up. Fish are going to respond to something that looks alive, something that's within their food range, if you will. So let me just kind of go over that and just kind of explain it. So I'm going to do a little bit more of a 90, slightly greater. Okay. And you can see, the, I don't know, well, you probably can't see this, but that sets the fly up to sweep very slowly more broadside and you can see after I make my cast I'm starting to lead the rod tip so that I maintain that shape of that swing okay if you stand there and don't move your rod tip the rod's gonna or the fly is gonna swing like a door we want the fly to continue to maintain that broadside sweep and once again the fly is coming across faster so is this something you want to do with conditions where there's minimal visibility probably not okay on the other hand, if I want to bring the fly across slower, I'm going to cast more 60 degrees, 70 degrees. Okay, make a little bit more aggressive upstream mend, high rod tip, drop the rod into the swing as the line starts to come tight, and slowly, slowly lead it across. Okay, so depth, direction, and speed all play off of each other, all super critical elements of the swing.